Hey guys, this one's going to be about stars and poles. They're the same thing, but I've heard them called either or. And this is something that doesn't get talked about too much, but it is a problem. I wouldn't say it's as big as a problem as end guns, but it's still something you should avoid, especially if you are going to be using your model in some sort of animation. So organic modeling, you definitely want to avoid these. So what are stars or poles? I'm just going to call them stars uh, just to simplify it. A star is a, a vert with six or more edges attached to it. So let me create a cube. I'll scale it up. And I'll add some div divisions to it. Three is good. So most verts have three or four and generally when you're modeling uh, in quads you want to keep it at three or four three on the corners and if I smooth it out it's a little bit easier to see so if I select this vert you can see three edges coming off but most will have four now every single time you extrude a face you're going to create a five star. Now, these aren't great for animation. They can cause pinching problems, render issues, but they are unavoidable. The trick is you want to hide these where um, they're not going to be, they're going to be doing the least amount of harm. So control E to extrude, pull this out, and you can see on this corner piece that was four, or that was three, it's added another edge to the vert, so now there's four, and over here, there's one, two, three, four, five. So, let me go back. So, if we were going to be extruding out, if we were going to use this cube to create a biped, and we extruded out the limbs, this is the head, the arms, and the legs, A pretty crude example where you would want to avoid creating a, a star especially around the deforming joint so if this was the neck and then I decided that I wanted to extrude out or I needed more topology to create an Adam's apple or the muscles in the neck I control hit control E again then that's going to create one, two, three, four, five, six, a six sided star. And this can be then compounded on and on. So six is the number that I would try to get rid of this. Six is too high, but it can get worse the more you extrude. And every single time, well, that's weird. Oh, it's because I didn't scale my extrusion. Let me extrude, and then let me extrude again. That's a little bit easier to see. So now it's seven. And this can go on and on. So a lot of the times we extrude because we want to add additional loops. We want more topology to add detail to our models. But if you're not thinking ahead, you'll be left with stars all over your model, uh, especially around deforming joints. and you're going to be left with a mess because then you have to go in with quad draw or whatever tool you want um, to then try to fix your topology afterwards when usually you want to just get it right uh, as you're doing the retopo the first time. Uh, I should also talk about having a clean center line because this is a pretty related topic. So. Let me go back, uh, let me scale, make another cube, I'll scale it up, and I'll add some more divisions, this time I'll just do two, uh, I'll leave two in the width, because this is something that I see quite a bit, let me turn off the grid so you guys can see. So I'll select these two faces, and if I wanted to pull this out to make a pair of legs, 
turn faces, uh, keep faces off, or let me turn keep faces together off. Let me scale this down so you can see a little bit better. <laughs> That's weird. I do not know why I did that. Oh, I'll just hit three. So the reason I did this is because you always want to keep a clean center line. Well, you don't have to, but it's good modeling practice to keep a clean center line. And if you didn't have two divisions separating your uh, your extrusions, there are if you if you extruded two faces right next to each other, you're going to create a star right in the middle, six sided star, and one of the big issues, besides the deformation problems and the rendering issues it can cause, it stops the flow of an edge loop. So if I wanted to make this, if this was asymmetric and I wanted to delete half and duplicate it over, I can't select the entire loop cleanly any longer. And obviously it's not a big problem with a really simple mesh like this. I can just go in and select the uh, that additional edge but if your mesh were really complicated and you had a bunch of stars on your center line uh, that would cause a bunch of issues if you wanted to then select your center line or delete half your model and or make it symmetrical so it's something you generally want to avoid so how do we avoid or fix having stars on your model. So let me extrude out these two. Uh, simply enough, the, the simplest way to avoid this is just to always make sure you have a loop in between extrusions. So similar to before, if I wanted to extrude out one of these faces, I would then create a six-sided star or multiple six-sided stars because this face, for example, is between two stars. So we can add an additional loop with the multi clip tool here. And so if I wanted to add an additional, or if I wanted to extrude this face, let me go back to um, not smooth preview. So you see I have this additional loop in here. So now if I go in and extrude, there'll be uh, a poly loop in between this set of stars and this set of stars. So something to always keep in mind, if you're, if you're extruding out appendages, Always make sure you have multiple poly loops before you do an, an additional extrusion if you want to avoid stars. And I think that's pretty much all there is to it. It's not the biggest issue in the world, but it is something I see on a lot of people's models and it can cause strange deformation and pinching. And um, you can imagine if if I if I kept extruding, kept extruding, kept extruding, and then I had, let me smooth it, some really strange topology, and I selected this vert. This is going to then deform very weird. It's going to cause all sorts of non-planar faces. Normals issues. You name it. So, best practice. Try to avoid them. Sometimes, I'm sure you will come across in your model, it, it will be unavoidable. You'll have a couple six stars in there. Try to hide them in areas where... Uh, they're going to do the least amount of damage away from deforming areas. All right, that's going to wrap it up for this one. Uh, like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. 
And uh, hopefully this was helpful for you. And I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching, guys.